guys, I am really pumped about this video and this is how you know Angie's excited. She stays up till 4.30 in the morning to get up a video, like I can't. But this video has been on my list of to-dos for so long and honestly, it was more just for me. I really wanted to get all of these cool tips to you guys. So Snapchat saw it first. Instagram saw it shortly thereafter today. Make sure that you guys are subscribed to both my channel as well as following me on Snapchat and on Instagram because I'll just be real, I document before the video goes up. So if you guys want a little bit of a heads up of what's gonna be up on the channel. And you know, I love the Snapchat fam. If you guys ever see the hearts and all the love below in the comments, that's Snapchat fam and I love them so much. So you guys, I did some kind of crazy Halloween DIYs. This is what I realized. For a really long time, I did not like Halloween. I know, <laughs> shocking. There's creepy Carl again. I didn't and it was because of the colors. I shared this in a recent video. I don't like orange. I didn't like the like ghouls and the all the ugh. I didn't love it. I like the creepy cute. That's what I'm calling it. So I decided to do an Angie version of Halloween this year and fall themed decor and I think I nailed it and I'm super excited about it. So I had this vision in my head of like, what if like cotton candy and unicorns met Halloween. I know that some of you guys are like, what? <laughs> this is what my vision was. And I found these really cool pumpkins that had like these spiral little tops on them. And then I found the sickest ever candle holders. And then I found the even sickest ever, ever, ever fairy dust. I don't even know what else to call it. It's actually called fairy dust and it comes in all these different colors. I'm obsessed with it. It's called recollections and you can get them in big tubs. If you really, really like the color like this one is, I believe this one is called fairy dust. Anyways, it's the purple one. It's so pretty as you can see. And I added that on a couple of the different items. And then I had a pink one and a blue one on a couple different things. So I just decided to get the kit of glitter because really you can't have enough glitter. And these candle holders are almost like Dr. Seuss, they're crooked. And a couple of you guys said in my last video, you were like, oh, your candle holders are crooked. I'm like, no, they're supposed to be like that. It's organized chaos. And then I bought this little dude today at HomeSense. You guys, I think I'm gonna name him Gomez. That's my thoughts. But he needed to be beautified. So this is me beautifying him. I pinked him up. He's so cute now. So he had green eyes, I turned them blue. Um, I. I gave him a little bit of glam. I, I pampered him a little bit. So we fixed up the little roughage and all the bandages and just, you know, we unicorned him. <laughs> it's kind of crazy whenever I look back at this. So all of his bandages and everything are fixed up. Same with the black base. I know it's super pretty and glittery, but wow, how much better is that? I can't even. So I did the same thing on the candle holders. The candle holders were black. I fixed them up. I made them like purple and turquoise and pink and just incredible. So that was the color tones that I went with. I used the just basic acrylic paints to do this. And then I found these baby little pumpkins at HomeSense. A lot of these items were from HomeSense and Michaels. And I just painted them in the exact same chalk paint that I was using. The chalk paint that I have is just from Michaels. It's called Art Mines. You could get any chalk paint. A lot of the chalk paint that I used in my beauty room is actually spray paint. The chalk paint just gives a really cool matte finish. So these are the glitters that I was talking to you guys about. And this is the mess that I've left on my desk and I'm obsessed with it. And these are kind of like Cinderella inspired. I'm, I'm so happy with my concept of just overhauling the concept of, or the theme of Halloween to just a whole other rendition of color. Like really, hello. Um, I also got these donuts today from HomeSense. My BFF has a couple for me at her house too, because she just went gangbusters for me. And you're supposed to fill the top of that mummy's head with candy. I filled it with flowers. I, d I just feel like I kind of rebelled against Halloween, but I'm really pumped about it. And that candle is everything. You guys, if you can find that at your local home sense, I can leave the link down below of the company or the brand that creates those candles, but I love it. How amazing is that glitter? I 
just, I'm kind of proud of myself right now. So I painted these, they were cream colored pumpkins from Michael's. I painted one in the blush color and one in the sea glass color. And then I did the little topping in it in glitter. Those other pumpkins that you see in the background were kind of my inspiration. I had bought those last year at Michael's and I love how they have like the gold tones and they were already glittered on the top. So Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Hopefully this gives you guys some ideas. Make sure that you subscribe. Make sure that you guys hit that bell so that you get the notification when a new video goes up and give this video a thumbs up. Let me know that it was helpful and give me your thoughts on your favorite Halloween decor. Bye dudes. In the cold kitchen light, we both look for a sign. 